I know you knew this was coming. I hope you're not sick of talking about oh, it. Flinch. Orlando and, and the Lakers had played each other in the finals the year before. Everyone was predicting that it would be the same thing. People were trying to say, oh, you didn't put in his face. I put that shit right in his face, and, and he, didn't, he didn't blink. It was a battle. So you're saying it wasn't 100% intentional? No, it was just kind of something. My arms did it. Like, I wasn't even thinking about, oh, I'm gonna put the ball in his face. Like, who does that shit? You know what I mean? And what were you saying to each other here? Fuck you, or whatever <laughs> needs to be said. That was one of Kobe's great things that I don't think people paid attention to was the way he mentally would attack you and bait you. He's yeah, really good at good. getting away. You but can't you, see you it. You can't really tell. But again, it was just physical. I loved it. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a football player at heart. Um, love playing physical. And, you know, again, anytime it, it was an honor to battle against Kobe. Like, if you have the wrong hand up, he's going to attack that. If you have the wrong foot up, he's going to attack that. If he has you on his shoulder and you're right with him, he'll shot fake you seven times. <laughs> and even though you know the shot fake's coming, at some point you think he's going to jump. So you jump and then he'll jump into you get the foul and make the shot. Kobe was on a different level than everybody that I, you know, had, a, had a, the fortune to play against. What people don't know after this game is I was a free agent. This was when Pat Riley was getting the big three together in Miami. So I was talking to Pat. So I was pretty much sold on going to South Beach and I get a random phone call from someone I don't know and it was Kobe. He told me uh, anyone, up, anyone who's crazy enough to fuck with me is crazy enough to play with me. Do you want to be a Laker? Showtime Lakers are the reason why I fell in love with basketball. So Kobe ended up recruiting me similar to the way he recruited Ron Artest the season before, so he didn't have to mess with us no more. And uh, it was a blast.